and here we are with a new Once Human video. Many dark updates are about to be released, as in this realm of monsters and creatures, a brand new battle pass has arrived with stunning Halloween-themed skins and beautifully crafted weapon customizations. I'm ready to show you the true beauty that lies in this game, with detailed designs for both your outfits and your base and home. This battle pass is packed with a ton of items, but if you want more, you can upgrade to the luxurious version. With the simple Advanced Edition for €9.99, you'll get all the rewards you see scrolling by quickly, and in the next video, we'll take a closer look at them. But Once Human offers even more with the Luxurious Edition, which I'll show you as soon as possible, purchasing it together to explore every detail. But now, let's get going and complete our mission to conquer all the activities in Once Human. We are about to explore this new town called High Banks. Let's see what awaits us. This is the first time I've encountered a boar interesting. Let's skin it and continue. As always, I'll try to be as meticulous as possible and leave nothing behind. Many houses in this town are fake and contain nothing. It'll be tough to navigate, but anything for our mission. I must say, this area is really full of monsters and they're all clustered very close together, almost as if they're guarding some kind of treasure. Submachine guns in this game aren't really to my liking. They waste a lot of bullets to kill enemies. However, they come through the crates, and who am I to not use them and waste the abundance of free ammo? In this little shop, you can find a page from the field guide of this city titled, This is our Turf. Now let's unlock our rift anchor, and let's continue searching for the other crates to complete this city. Okay, our submachine gun is out of ammo. Let's bring out the serious weapons. Our SORC, the Last Valor. But look at that huge monster. I would have never expected a man with balloon heads. Wow. However, he is really tough to take down. I wonder if he will drop something good once this Colossus is defeated. Wow, he deals a lot of damage with his attacks. He practically took half my health. Be careful, because not only does he jump on you, but he also shoots balloons, and it's not a soft hit either. Wow, I never expected damage like this. I'm definitely going to die. Fortunately, he didn't kill me. Still, by using the map wisely and aiming for his colorful balloons, you can take him down with a bit of patience. And 
The great balloon Goliath has fallen. Now let's see what he had for us. Too bad it's nothing special, but he did unlock the mystical crate for us. All cleared out so no one will disturb us. Let's see what this crate contains. All right, just one reward, but we found 40 blueprints for the S870 Sandstorm, a nice shotgun. Let's read the tips on the note. What a cute ghost is greeting us at the entrance. I even tried to kill her. But it wasn't intentional. I think she understood, but by now, I don't know what monsters I will encounter. There are so many that I always try to kill them to see if they are harmless or not. A beverage machine? A little refreshment is just what I need. All right, a deviation. I want my drink and I've already paid for it. Come on, just throw it out to me. Okay, let's go grab the bottles that they didn't return. Poor vending machine. Okay, it's directing us to proceed towards the commercial area where we came from, so let's head back there. We have a number for the combination and the information on where the bottles are located. Another number for the combination, so we have two and three. Here, we need to make the sheep turn in the same direction as the others. Shh, quite pleased. And we have the first bottle. Okay, the third number of the combination is five. Let's turn the sheep here as well for our little bottle. And here's the last row of sheep to arrange for our bottles. Return these beverage bottles. Sorry, I couldn't find 100, so I found as many as I could. And this mission has been successfully completed. Now let's continue exploring the city and searching for the chest to try the combination. Here you can find, in this warehouse behind the mission location, a page of the field guide titled New Beverage Machine. The code to enter according to this last message is 325, because the 3 is the middle number, 
then the smallest, and finally we have the five, which is the largest. All right, the missions in the city are finished. I absolutely need to search for the two missing weapon crates, which are probably towards those residential houses or atop that mountain. Let's go find them so we can finish this city and move on to the next one. All right, we've arrived at the top. Let's explore this house. Great, we have a nice weapon modifier. We will probably find the last weapon crate in this house. Okay, let's explore inside. I wanted to check outside better, but it doesn't seem like there's anything inside besides a myriad of monsters. Come on, we found a deviation this time, a paper doll, as if I didn't have enough of those. But it doesn't matter. Okay, I've really looked everywhere. The chest must be in here, otherwise I must have missed something. Look at how many monsters there are. I'm happy for the XP, but there are really too many. Finally, the last weapons crate. Let's open it and see what's inside. Ah, see? It was worth it. A nice blue striped MPS-5 and also a page from the High Banks Field Guide for successfully completing the city. So let's activate the teleporter nearby first and craft some arrows since we're out. For these operations, I always need to gather some trees and rocks, because I don't want to carry them around due to the weight. Luckily, there were many rocks and trees here, so we did it very quickly. Let's set everything to craft and wait for the arrows while we decide what to do next. Okay, I'd say, let's head towards that area where we also have the main mission to follow, and we'll find out what Mary has to say. Our arrows are ready, so I'd say let's set off without further delay. Oh, look here. There's the bus. I haven't done it today, so let's stop and bring it down so we can hop inside and grab the chest. Remember, you can do this once a day, but it's very useful for getting consumable items like Molotovs sometimes.
course, I always have to choose the hardest path. Plus, I haven't explored this area yet. Look at this beautiful Rosetta field I found. I think we should go in and clear everything out. Maybe we'll find something nice. Who knows? We haven't found anything yet, just a ton of enemies, but hey, they're at level 26. How awesome. Here's a nice page from the field guide. Not quite an official order. Inside here, you'll find a formula for an exhaust fan. Nothing special, but always appreciated. Okay, here, if you still needed to preserve your meat or fish using a meat dryer, you can still complete this journey thanks to the meat you'll find in that fridge. Let's check these houses as well since I haven't explored them yet. Okay, we're arriving at Mary. I love flying with this motorcycle. Here I am, I'm not too late, right? Just in time. Hope you've got ammo. This place should be full of Rosetta soldiers. Wait, what is this place exactly? Like I said, it's a Rosetta Research Center. Used to study transcendence and deviations. Those creatures in the monoliths might have originated from here, even if that's not the case. I'm sure we could uncover something useful there. The more we know about our foe, the better. Got it. You stay here and be careful. I'm going in. And it's a good thing I met you. Fighting isn't my strong suit. Good luck in there. Perfect. Let's head towards the Rosetta Complex and do what we do best. Destroy. Here are the documents. Let's read a bit about what it's about. Warning of an attack. 
Attention, this is not a drill. We are under attack by the metahumans. It can be confirmed that Base Commander Ames has betrayed Rosetta. All personnel should immediately take refuge inside the Institute. The good news is, we are all members of the Advent Sect here, so let's unite. We must hold down the fort until the main suppression force arrives and wipes out those traitors. And here we also have a page from the field guide. Great, let's continue with the mission. Here we have another page, this time titled Project Halted. In this chest, you can find a tier 2 bow. We have more documents here. Let's see what they say. They were also trying to burn them, the sneaky ones. Research progress stalled. As expected, among all the facilities on Nalcott Island, the Gaia Institute is nothing more than a cold outpost for the Advent sect. In today's world, where the metahumans are in power, them supporting our research is definitely out of the question. After all, we should already be grateful that they haven't rounded us up and dealt with us by now. Anyway, there's really nothing worth seeing in the Gaia Cliff monolith. This prison has been empty for years, devoid of any rift entities for us to study. A far cry from the monolith of thirst in the west, and the monolith of nightmares in the north god. How I envy the researchers there. It's so galling when I think about that. All right, Rand over, back to work. Working late until 11 p.m. again. Thanks a lot, Commander Ames. While I was reading the letter, we continued down the path. Now let's go in, grab the box inside that security system, and discover what the last file has in store for us. Uh, a secret report. Let's read what it says. In light of the unusual events occurring at the Nalcott base recently, I hereby request that headquarters put the area under closer monitoring. There has been no definitive update on the whereabouts of Mr. Ames for more than 36 hours after his visit to the site. It's highly likely that Mr. Ames has been killed, and I'm certain that May Ames, the commander of the Nalcott base, is the prime suspect. No matter what happened here, it means that a dramatic conflict has broken out within the evolution sect, which could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for the Advent sect to rebuild itself. I will keep monitoring the situation and report any further developments at the Nalcott base. Here we have some very serious allegations against this Mary Ames. Could it be our Mary? No, I don't think so. Okay, now all that's left is to exit the base and head back to our Mary. I'm back. Good. You got out safely. Did you find anything? 
not close to what you were expecting, just a few random documents. That's it? Well, let's take a look and see what's there. Huh. What's wrong? Did you find something? Not really. Seems there is a power struggle within Rosetta between the Advent and Evolutionist factions. Anywhere you find people, you'll find politics, I guess. But no matter which faction we're talking about, nobody in Rosetta cares about human life. If they get their way, then the whole world will be lost. If you're interested, though, I have some info here compiled by the Mayflies about Rosetta's internal structure. I'll send it to you later. It's a shame we didn't make any progress, but I'll keep investigating. Take care of yourself. Until we meet again. And that's it for today. While we haven't found much, we are quickly progressing toward the truth behind once human and this island. Now, it's time for me to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, leave a like or comment, and remember to hit the bell icon for notifications on my videos.